If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like, comment. But if you're not new here, welcome back. Welcome back. I'm Jazz, and in today's video, we're going to be doing another DIY. And I'm going to be making a sweatshirt out of, you know, um, fabric, like graphic fabric that I got at Joann's. And I just, I'm excited to make this piece because I like sweatshirts, but I need more graphic sweatshirts. So I was like, hmm, let's make this and let's record it so we can show the people how we do it, you know? So we're going to, I'm going to do that and I'm going to take y'all through every step that I do so you can do it too. I just wanted to show y'all the fabric that I got. It's like really cute. Like, who wouldn't want to make something out of this? Like, and I got a whole lot of it. How many yards did I get? I got like two yards of it. But this is how it looks. And of course, you know, you can unravel it some more, but this is all I can get in the camera frame. So this is it for this project. You know, you're gonna need your handy dandies and then you're gonna need your pins. And for the pattern that we're gonna use for this project, I'm gonna use a sweatshirt that I already have. And it's medium size. I like mine a little bigger, so I'll probably make it a little bigger, but this is what I'm gonna use to outline. So yeah, that's what you're gonna need. So first, to start off the project, we're going to fold the fabric in half. So now what you're gonna do, now that you fold the fabric in half, you're going to fold your sweatshirt in half on the front side so you can do the front panel. And all you're gonna do is lay the folded side of the sweatshirt along the folded side of the fabric. So when you open it up, it'll be one big piece. All you're gonna do is flip the sweatshirt on the back side and put the folded piece on the folded side of the fabric because you're gonna fold the fabric in half too again so it could be one big piece.
Okay, so now we're gonna take what's left of the fabric and we're going to fold another half of the fabric in half. So you'll, when you open it up, you have one piece and we're gonna make the sleeve. So let me show y'all. So now that we cut out the base part, the front and the back, and the two sleeves, we're going to pin all around the base part. And when you pin it, make sure you have the same sides facing each other. So it's basically the outside, the inside of the fabric is on the outside because you got the two outside pieces facing each other if that makes sense and then for the sleeve it's on the outside right now you're going to flip it so that when you sew you sew down and then you flip it on the right side when you finish so flip the sleeve and have the same sides facing each other and all you're gonna do is sew all the way down right here. And same with the second one. And for the bases, you're going to sew, this is how it looks, you're going to sew the shoulder finished product and I love it look at it hold on give me a back view so we're done but I want to do you know how okay you see how this piece is I want to show y'all how to do that and around the collar also let me show you like how this thick piece is around the collar. So it looks clean. Like this is fine, but the sleeves, I wanted to grip my wrist. I wanted to grip my neck. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I just measured my wrist 
and it's six inches so i'm gonna do about six and a half seven inches around my wrist and what i did was um get some of the excess fabric and fold it in half like we've been doing this whole time and what you're going to do is cut off six inches of each wrist <laughs> on the right size right now so you're going to wrap it around and sew it just like this right across and then when you flip it this part will be tucked in so then you'll be ready to sew it to the sleeve part So guys, this is the finished product. I love it. Here are the sleeves, the collar. It's so colorful. But thank y'all for watching this video. I hope that you um, get inspired and make a sweatshirt. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.